In this video we are going to complete input example 4. This is a hyperbolic paraboloid fabric shade structure. We start by drawing the four posts. Type 0 Now 0 space 3 and we have the first post which is 3 metres in height we copy that 8 metres in the x direction show an oblique view Control A selects those two members, right click, confirm, and we'll copy those two members in the Z direction. Zero space, zero space, eight, enter. So here are our four posts. Now we want to make two of them two meters in height. So this one and this one will be 2 metres and the others remain 3 metres. Right click Properties Change the Y coordinate to 2 The next step is to draw the turnbuckle members. We'll make these property number 2 We'll now subdivide those two members, select them and hit 2. We'll change the coordinate of these two nodes. So those members are now pointing in the right direction for the turnbuckles. The turnbuckles are 500 millimetres in length so what we need to do is to use the insert node command to insert a node near the post in each case. If we show the local Y axis we can see that these two members here have to be reversed before we've got their A node near the post. So we can now use the insert node command on those four members. And we can now delete these parts. Now we'll draw the main cables. We'll make these property number three. Now we're going to limit the view to the top part of the structure. And make a plan. And now we'll curve these members into their approximately to their final shape. Right click, curve command another point defining the arc
So now we can draw the secondary members and we'll make this section number four. Now we can intersect those members by selecting them all, right click, choose the intersect command. So there's an oblique view of our full structure. Now let's define the section properties. Section 1, these are posts. Choose them from the library, CHS. One one four by 5.4. Section number two, the turnbuckles. We'll take a rod from the library, say a 24 millimeter rod. Section three, the main cables. And we'll take a 10 millimeter diameter rod to represent those. Section four, the secondary cables, which represent a certain width of fabric. We've said that we're going to use six millimeter diameter rods for those but there is no six millimeter rod in the library. So we could either put one in the library or use a standard shape. Choose a circle diameter 0 0.006. So now we can render the structure or you could use the virtual reality view Now we'll define the load cases. Case one will be dead. Case two will be pretension. Case three will be wind uplift. And case four will be a design combination. First of all, we'll uh, define the design, the design combination. We'll simply use factor of one times all of these cases. For the dead load case, we're going to use a force of 0 0.025 kilonewtons per meter on all of the cables. Make a plan, select all the cables. have a UDL which is minus 
for the wind uplift. We'll use point zero five. Now we haven't done the pretension load case. What we're going to do for that is introduce a 40 millimeter shortening into each of the turnbuckles. So we'll choose each of these turnbuckles. right click input member loads we choose this distortional load in the x direction and the value will be minus 0 0.04 now before we do the analysis we have to define the supports So we choose the support nodes, properties, and choose a fixed support. And we also have to specify the material for all of the members, steel. And now we can do the analysis. Nonlinear, we only analyze load cases that can exist. Wind uplift, for instance, cannot exist on its own, so we don't attempt to analyze that case. Now with cable structures, it sometimes speeds up the uh, convergence if you use a number there less than one. I'll use 0.5 for the relaxation factor. And you can see that it has converged in 15 iterations. Look at the displaced shape. So we can query the uh, node displacement in the middle, and that is 494 millimeters. So we can adjust the the pretension to reduce that deflection. Our next task is to do a steel design check on the posts. So we have to initialize design members. We'll be checking to AS4100, except the default parameters there. We now have to specify the design load cases. And that's the only design case. We can now do a check all. And we can see the results of the steel design by clicking on this button here and it shows the results in color. You can see the legend there. And you can see the uh, design ratio here. You can also right click on a member and see a detailed design report right click 
check design member.